Hello, everyone. This is episode 12 of the Citizen of the World podcast. I decided to actually do a video format live for you as I record this because it's time that we grow. It's time that we stop limiting ourselves and we show up 100%. So I am outside of my comfort zone with this video as normally I would do audio recordings for my podcast episodes. But now I really want everybody to have the opportunity to see me and to really get the full experience by seeing the video and getting to see my office. Sometimes you might see my dog, Benny, come into the frame. He always wants to be with me. Um, I have a really exciting episode to talk to you about today as with everything going on in the world, it's really time to slow down. This is the universe's way of telling us this, that we need to reflect and to stay home and go within. While this sounds scary for a lot of people, going within and spending more time alone will give you greater confidence. So spending time for self-discovery is very crucial as you go forward in the next futures of your life. You want to make sure you're setting the right intentions so that five years from now, these dreams that you've been putting out there will actually become a reality. So by setting your intentions accordingly, you will be living life to its fullest. And with every challenge, there's a silver lining. What is the silver lining in this pandemic? What are you doing with your more time at home? We have the power to determine our futures as every decision we make impacts our tomorrow. By choosing to have faith and not fear, you can decide the silver lining of this pandemic. You can see that in opportunities like this, you can grow. And that's what we, we ought to be doing as it's not the time to crawl under the blankets as really this is a sign from the universe that nothing is stable, nothing is permanent. And if you've ever wanted to leave your nine to five job and really wanted to be your own boss, maybe this is the time to do so. If we don't put in the work today, it won't be there tomorrow. And every single day, we have the choice to determine what we do with our time. Where the energy goes, that's where productivity flows, right? And so this is what I'm seeing in my own community is that more people are seeing the importance of life. They're seeing this need to slow down. I'm seeing a lot of families together spending time outside, a lot of people are posting on Instagram all these nourishing meals that they're making. More people are working out at home. People are making it work. We evolve as human beings. We adopt, we transform. That's what humans do. And before, when I would walk my dog, before this pandemic it would happen, I didn't see people really going out in their communities a lot. You could tell that it was all focused on capitalism. A lot of people didn't have time for their kids. I'd see a mother walking with her kids, but not the dad. It wasn't the whole family together. And now that's what I'm seeing because capitalism, more and more people are working from home or they've lost their jobs or been laid off. And I'm, I've also been impacted by this financially, but being worried, doesn't serve, right? It's action that serves and things that we can do. And yet more and more people are realizing that how they were living their lives before isn't so sustainable. More and more people are working from home now because of this devastation and will want to continue working from home as more and more lights are going off. People are realizing that they can make money themselves being their own boss instead of working under a corporation. So we live in a society of mass distraction, but now those distractions are limited. And that's when we can see the true essence of life. When all those distractions are gone, we can actually just be. And this is it. what's happening right now is exactly what I needed to happen or what I would have wanted to happen to write my book. There were so many distractions. It was difficult for me to find the time to set aside to just focus on writing. Because when you're creating something as an entrepreneur, as a writer, you're bringing into something to life that doesn't exist. 
So it's difficult to do that with everything going on. So I really had to self isolate myself and distance myself from all distractions. And now with what's going on, you can see it as a silver lining as, as an opportunity for growth because now you are at home and it's much easier to go within and to do the hard work that's important. It's also just nice to slow down and to spend more time with loved ones. Parents are undistracted with work and they're able to be with their children. And so people must be asking themselves, like, how often does your job take over your life? How does your job not allow you for time to do things that you want to do or time more with your family? If your work consumes you, please ask yourself why you're doing this for, to yourself. There are so many opportunities for you to get paid being you on the skill sets that you already have. And so this is a time to tap into that because as we can see what's going on, Nothing is guaranteed. And I'm actually used to working with this uncomfort and this unknown because I'm a commission sales representative. I don't know if I'm going to be paid every week. And that's what it's been like for the past four years. So this domain is new for a lot of people, yet people in commission have been living with this uncomfortableness. And it's the uncomfortableness that we're used to. I'm used to being comfortable in the unknown. Everything in life is an unknown. However, when we take action, we know that the money will flow. I know that as long as I put in work every single week, every time I show up for myself and be my authentic self, the money always follows. And the same can happen for you if you start making money being you. Because that's what I was saying, right? We can't predict, plan, or expect anything. If we thought we were safe before, it's actually a false illusion. You cannot control life to every degree. Life is so unpredictable. And if we stay within our comfort zones, everything else is being sacrificed. Instead, we need to climb to challenges to learn resilience and keep going in the face of adversity. And that's what I've been doing for the past four years is that it's been challenging, but through the challenge, I've learned so much about myself, who I am, my skills. It's been a long journey of self-discovery to be where I am today as an author, entrepreneur, and someone that helps other people realize their true potential to make money being themselves. And this all comes from my own experience of working within a nine to five job with the government where I was so unfulfilled. Uh, I wasn't so stressed, but the unfulfillment caused me stress in my life and caused a lot of unhappiness. And so I walked away from all of that and chose travel and through travel, I became an entrepreneur. But it's that feeling of awareness of knowing that your job is causing you stress and still just going forward with it because you think that's what you have to do. When we're not designed as humans to live stressful lives, Eastern medicine shows us that stress causes cancer and so we're causing ourselves to have cancer by following this corporate agenda, by staying within our nine to five jobs instead of living a freedom life where we make money being ourselves. So we are damaging ourselves, our families, our societies by living, a plan, by living with so much stress. And so ask yourself this, do you focus more on your work than on your family or on yourself? What if you spent less time worrying about someone else's company than your own life? Do you think your employer puts your needs or your family's needs above the needs of the corporation? Imagine you would spend so much time, the amount of time that you currently spend working for somebody else, but on yourself. While it might sound difficult at the beginning, if you're starting a business from scratch, it is the action today that will lead to change in a year from now or not, right? It's keep going and seeing what happens. So why do we do this to ourselves? 
Well, society from a young age conditioned us to work nine to five jobs because we thought that hard work by the hour would bring success. What if times have changed? What if now it's all about kind of being your own boss and less work is actually better? So it's interesting with what's going on right now in the pandemic, everybody's like spending more time with their family and with their kids and their, fr and their dogs and whatever, whatever. That's what I do. My life is very calm. Um, I'm not a social butterfly in this sense. I really just spend a lot of time with family, relaxing, spending time in nature, hiking, exercising. Like, this is what it is. This is how your life could be as well. Like, there's no need to commute to work a nine to five job that you hate. Like, why are you doing this to yourself? Working from home is so attainable. Have you enjoyed working from home these past few days? Spending time with your family instead of commuting. You don't need to be a certain way or act a certain way for society. Instead, be your authentic self and the money will flow. Like I said, I've been working from home for the past four years and whatever you dream, you can achieve it. It starts with action and putting yourself first. Um, next week's guest is very interesting as we'll hear from a guest who will come onto the Citizen of the World podcast who worked 38 years for a company and then wanted to start his own business. So he left because he realized that after 38 years, didn't receive any severance pay, no Christmas bonus. He received nothing after 38 years of being the perfect employee with the same company, being loyal, being on time, even being at work early. All of this dedication, all of this power went to this corporation and made them so much money but what did it do for yourself so why are we working so hard for someone else why can't we put all our faith and loyalty to corporations they want to make money right like their bottom line is making money so your needs will always be secondary and why subject yourself to such subordination don't give your energy or your power to someone else keep it for yourself to foster it and let it work for you instead of building someone else's dream why don't you build your own as every day that you're going into this company you're fulfilling somebody else's dream so how much longer do you want to work for someone else is dream or work for your own dream the more we show up for ourselves the more we are shining our god-given light we are all special and unique and have skills and strengths that other people are probably paying you for. So why not manifest those skills, package it a certain way and get paid yourself? We've been giving our power away for way too long. And in the end, what are you left with, right? So I'm here to tell you to take care, take control of your future and start the hard work needed to develop another revenue stream. It is a lot of hard work, but you have to ask yourself, like, is it also hard work to live and work for someone else and to not have your own time and to only have like two days a week or two weeks of vacation a year? There are so many jobs in demand right now that you can get paid on the skills you already have. Professional skills that you have combined with life and life experience and expertise are something that is increasingly demand, right? Like, especially with all this talk of like robots coming in one day, robots will never replace your life experience. So what's the life experience that you have, you can pull it out, repackage it and sell it or provide a service for others that need you. People need what you have. That's why you're getting paid for it right now because you're fulfilling a business somebody else's need but you can do those things yourself and charge much more than working an hourly wage so you have transferable skills that can succeed in a different industry for sure you just really have to think outside the box and i'll help you there so let's get into like what industries are in high demand even during a recession so that even though times are hard right now you can still build a business from scratch because like I said, you're in demand right now. Number one is the service industry. 
people with houses, people with businesses, people want solutions to problems, right? So plumbers, appliance repair technicians, financial services, anybody that, that prepares for the future, for finances, for retirement, for education, savings, those are in high demand right now. People don't wanna do that themselves. Mechanics, cars are still breaking down, right? Any field that provides a service will always keep going. So this includes personal trainers, life coaches, career coaches. Everybody's looking for new opportunities right now. I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and everybody's looking for opportunities to work from home. Um, so if you uh, have some admin experience, most people do, you can become a virtual assistant. There's a lot of virtual assistants that make over six figures scheduling, taking care of people's email, admin staff, stuff that business owners are too consumed with creating that they need someone to help them on the back end of things. So that's just one example of taking skills that you already have and becoming a virtual assistant. Number two is the healthcare and health research. Health is will always be prominent and there's such a demand for healthcare providers. And there's so much government funding right now for anything that's health related. So if that is your domain, definitely try to penetrate the market on your own so that you can monetize and live a life of abundance and freedom without having to work for somebody else who will take advantage of you. That is capitalism. Number three, educators, especially online teachers teaching English abroad or any other type of language, education for children, education for adults. We live in a generation of lifelong learning where more and more people now realize that if they want the jobs and the, and the new opportunities, they need to get the new skills. And so they get courses online. So if this is one example. If you have a skill already that you could put into a course format and sell online, that could be making money for you in your sleep. Just by building a course already on the skills that you have, you'd be helping out other people while making money being you. Uh, fourth is online shopping. There's definitely a lot of people still online shopping, especially on Amazon. So you can learn how to sell products on Amazon. You don't have to have any of the products in your house. Lots of ways to drop ship or get involved in e-commerce. There, this is, I just provided you with four generic examples of industries that are thriving in recessions or economic downturns. There's no industry that's completely foolproof during recessions, but these ones are more resilient during difficult times. Whatever it is that you want to manifest, look, put it out in the universe and it will give it back to you. But you have to take action outside your comfort zone as nothing good stays from being stagnant and too comfortable. You have to get creative, take the time for self-discovery, do yourself a favor grow from this opportunity. You can determine the silver lining of this, this. You don't need the news or anybody else, your employer, to dictate the future. You have the opportunity now to take the time to be free of all this corporate stuff as you work from home and start to realize that you could work from home on a permanent basis. So if you're looking for the confidence and motivation tools, whatnot, to get your business going, I am here for you. Do not take action because you haven't figured it all out. Find out how you can make money being yourself, what energizes you, and what skills you have that you can monetize on. Once you figure all that out, the universe will align itself to help you. Worried about web design or getting clients, it all starts with believing in yourself and the dreams will come true. People will come into your life that can help you. So I'm Kathleen Parisien, your host of Citizen of the World, the podcast. Share with me your ideas on how to start a business. I'd love to hear all your creative energies. During this weird time, let's work together. Let's collaborate. I help you get paid on the skills to be you and the strengths you already have. Most people don't realize that they can start a business with the skills and life experience that they already have. By working with me, I help eliminate limiting beliefs for new opportunities and perspectives to arise. So I can work with you one-on-one -on -one 
to help determine what it is that you have that you enjoy doing and others will pay you for it. So this is kind of like your sweet spot. I will be launching a course soon, Get Paid to Be You. And I would be grateful if you did like this podcast to share it with your friends and family as you never know who is ready to make that transition from their nine to five job to be their own boss and get paid on the skills that they already have. This is what the universe is telling us. We can't depend on employers for any sense of security or comfort. You can only depend on yourself. And in times like this, we do really want to have different income streams so that we are comfortable no matter what is going on in the world. You're taking care of yourself and your family as well as shining your light because by shining your light and your true purpose, you help other people as well. And so you make the world a better place for yourself, but for everyone else around you. And that is the essence of citizen of the world. We're all here to help each other. We can collaborate to make the world a better place. So my friends, contact me, stay in touch. I want to know how you're going to get paid to be you. I don't want you to take to be stressed or worried. I want you to use this opportunity to take action using the skills that you already have. Okay.